Greetings, fellow editors. Watchtower, an old and trusty companion of your kingdom, is finally dismantled and rebuilt from the ground up. Files import performance is improved, which is good news for big projects with a lot of assets. You will see instant import with AutoSync and the increased speed during manual sync. AutoSync is more stable now. When files are copied or downloaded, Watchtower will wait for files to be written on a disk and only then will try to import them. Here are the changes in the main panel. Watchtower gets a progress bar, making it easy to tell if it is doing something or not. The AutoSync setting is now a button on the main panel, a little eye that you can toggle on and off at any moment. Settings are accessible through a right-click menu. To add watch folders, just drag and drop folders from a file manager onto the Watchtower panel. The Folders panel will open, allowing you to adjust settings for the folders you've just added. This panel also supports drag and drop, so you can add even more folders here. Let's have a look at the folder settings. State will show you whether the folder is online, offline, or it is a new folder that you've just added. Offline means that the folder path could not be found. To fix it, just click on the path and find the missing folder. You can also do this to change the path of an existing watch folder. Next, we have four checkboxes. Sub determines if subfolders should be imported or ignored. Rel is relative path, makes the folder path relative to the project location. This way, you can move a whole folder structure with a project to a different location, such as another drive, and the watch folder connection will still be maintained. This is especially useful for project templates. SEQ, image sequence import. If you have image sequences inside that folder, it will be imported as such. When you add folders that already have image sequences inside, Watchtower will detect them and enable that setting automatically. FLT – Flatten folder. This will import all files from subfolders into the top folder. This could be useful for image sequences that are placed each in its own folder. Here, I enable Sequence and Flatten checkboxes and all sequences in subfolders will go into the main folder. This is also useful for camera cards that have a very complex folder structure. And like before, Watchtower will automatically detect camera cards, enable the flatten setting for them and import spanned media properly without duplicates. Here, I add RED, P2, Panasonic and RE cameras. And everything is imported correctly. You can find the currently supported camera folder structures in the manuscript. If you forget what these three letters mean, just hover your mouse over them to get a tooltip. Label is a new feature that assigns a selected label to all media imported in a watch folder. For example, you want to label your sound effects or other clips with a specific label. Therefore, it is easy to distinguish them on a timeline. So, roses are red and violets are blue. Watchtower imports clips and labels them too. Now a timeline can be beautifully organized. Sometimes you already have bins with assets in your project and you want to convert them to watch folders. It is now very easy. To link existing bins, select and drag them onto the Watchtower panel. You will see a link icon and when you drop them, the folders panel will appear. And here's a trick. If you have at least one file inside that bin, Watchtower will automatically use 
its parent folder path. If you don't like it, click on the path and change it. Onward to the settings. Settings allow you to decide which file extensions to import and which folder names should be ignored. Folder names also support regular expressions, which gives even more control over the folder name filter. To learn more, read the manuscript. If the Show Import Options is enabled, import options for Photoshop, Illustrator and similar files will be shown to you during import. In After Effects, you can decide how to import Photoshop Illustrator files with the Import As setting. Add Import Date is a new feature for Premiere Pro only. It will add Import Date metadata to your project. To see it, go to the metadata display, search for Import Date and enable it. Now, every file imported by Watchtower will get an import date and time. This metadata is written in a format that allows you to sort this column, making it easy to keep track of the order in which files were added to a project. Note that the addition of the import date will increase the import time of a file. This is not noticeable for a few files, but if it is thousands of them, you will need to wait. This is where the progress bar will be useful. Before I say that is all, thank you. Please note that Watchtower 1.5 will not support watch folders created by previous version of Watchtower. You will need to relink them or add them again to your current projects. That is all. Thank you.